you're safe. Thank the Twelve. have bested me this day, but what of the next? What of all the days to come? Remember, light no longer holds sway here. I may return whensoever I wish, again and again and again. Eventually, you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Until next time, Scions. There will be no next time. This is the end. What? What trickery is this? No. No! Cannot! No! Samati to gather ether. Quickly, before he breaks free! Concentrate! Call to mind the time you struck down La Habrea with the Blade of Light! it work? Is it because we lack the blessing of light? Damn it. So much ether. And it still isn't enough. Fools! No mortal prison can contain me! I shall make you pay for your insolence! to our plea. Lend us your divine light. Why can you not hear us? Do our words no longer reach you? If only we had a bit more ether. What are you doing? Master Louisois, I understand now the choice you made. In death, there is life. Farewell, Urianche. You daft old coot. No! You mustn't! What? No! It, it cannot end! I am eternal! I am immortal!
Moon Breeder. She's... She's gone. You did it, my friend. The Asian is dead. This device is a legacy of Moonbreeder's toils and sacrifice. I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Minfilia, uh, are you all right? I am. Oh, we were surveying northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. We returned as swiftly as we were able. It seems you have everything in hand, however. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? She gave her life to temper the Blade of Light. I... I have no words. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Does... does Arianje know? My friend... There is something I must tell you. I heard all, my lady. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens. Yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? Long ago, far across the seas in the Charlayan motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study under the sage tutelage of Master Louis Soi. Full off did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater good. This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. In spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice was the realm spared its doom. Yet this great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning and of meddling in the course of history. When he left Charleon behind, Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Above all, however, she was confused. Try as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered and the man who forsook her and his duty both. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty much less one of his own. This I know full well, my lady. T'was not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. 
Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she craved. And now she hath gone to her rest, with doubt still in her heart. Speakest thou in earnest? Did Moonbreeder truly come to understand Master Louisois's will before the end? Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Oh, Moonbreeder, my dearest, how I shall miss thee. Moonbreeda gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Aether and see it to completion. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeda in mine own way. I beg your permission to return to the Waking Sands. Of course, my friend. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us. <laughs>